Okay, so let's talk about SADS. So when you just hear the word SAD, what should come to your mind is uh, the root. Yeah, so we're talking about the root cause of problems. So uh, SADS, we don't have to define them, just know that they are roots. And then uh, we have to know the rules of SADS. So we have, uh, I can categorize them into two. So we have, we have addition and subtraction rules. Yeah, so maybe let me write that. So uh, we have addition. So write this in your book as you are watching this video. So addition and subtraction. Mm, subtraction. Anyway, you write the correct spelling in your book. So, uh, what are the rules for adding and subtracting? They are very easy. Let's say you have root 4 plus 3 root 4 plus 2 root 5 plus, uh, plus 6 root 4 simplify this so how we simplify we're just going to collect like terms those which have root 4 we write them so 6 root 4 this 4 is ugly and 2 root 5 so when adding or subtracting you just add what is outside so 3 plus 6 oh, yeah 3 plus 6 that's 9 root 4 plus oh <laughs> this is just 4 never add we cannot say 4 plus 4 we get root 8 yeah so this is just the same as writing 3x plus 6x you know what to do you just say 3 plus 6 that is 9 and then you write your x so it is uh, kind of similar uh, similar to what we have there mm -hmm. so we are done with addition so if you've understood you can like the video so that you motivate you motivate me to to make more so now let's do subtraction so subtraction uh, let's say we have uh, 3 root 5 plus uh, plus 4 root 2 minus 2 root 5 so this is 2 root 5 minus uh, minus root 2 simplify so here uh, we just collect like terms we start with what has root 5 we can put them together so we have 3 uh, we have 3 root 5 the other thing which has root 5 is 2 so plus uh, 4 4 has root 2 and then what else has root 2 it's this one here so from here we just uh, we just sim subtract and simplify 3 times 2 it is 1 root 5 so but it doesn't make sense if we write write one x we just usually leave it as x so even here we can just leave this as uh, root 5 plus what is 4 minus if there's nothing it's 1 4 minus 1 is 3 and then our root it's root 2 you never add or subtract what is under the root never never yeah, so that is on subtraction. I'm sure you've gotten, uh, you've gotten the point. So if you've understood, you can now subscribe to the channel. So the other rule, it is uh, multiplying. Uh, this is L. Uh, multiplication and. Uh, subtraction ah, you are going to finish it in your book Multipli ah, multiplication and division ah. 
So by the way, for those who are member speaking people in Zambia, division means akapa uh, tulula. So let us do multiplication and akapa uh, tulula. So multiplication, uh, if you have three root two times uh, five root four. So here again, you just multiply what's outside. Three times five, it's fifteen. So if this was adding, uh, we can't add the two. They are not like terms. But for multiplying, multiplication has no boundaries. So we say two times four. So this is fifteen. Two times four, eight. Yeah. So that's how we multiply. So the same with division, if we say, uh, let us perform division. So what if we have 12 root 24 uh, divided by 3, 3 root, uh, we can say root 6. So this is just 12 root 24 over 3 root 6 and then you can you can divide the what is 3 uh, 12 divided by 3 it is 4 so we have our 4 uh, 3 into 3 1 into 12 4 and then the root it is we divide what is under the root 24 divided by 6 so this is root 24 divided by 6 you know it's 4 yeah so that's how you divide yeah so this is these are the basics you should know and uh, operations on SADS these are the rules of SADS uh, so there's actually a document uh, by myself uh, which is on SADS so you can check out that for more examples uh, so this is the mega mines document on on sads yeah so you can go through this uh we have written everything in order yeah just for you to understand all these the laws of sads uh yeah with more examples uh, so that you can get the whole thing yeah so now uh we can progress uh, so now we have done the rules of SADS. Let us look at simplifying SADS. So uh, let us talk about the simplification of SADS. So let's say, for example, you have uh, you have root you have root six. Uh, how you can simplify this? You have to remember that. Uh, okay, so root six it is just the same as writing root. 2 times 3 yeah so you know 2 times 3 is 6 meaning we haven't changed anything so we can separate these two we'll say this is root 2 times root 3 remember if we're going to multiply this we just multiply what's under the side meaning it will give us 6 yeah so this is the simplification of root 6 if you want to separate it it's going to look like this root 2 times root 3 uh, let's look at another example. So, uh, what if we have uh, root 8? Root 8, it is the same as writing root 4 times root 2. So, here, uh, we can separate, meaning we have, we have root 4 times root 2. Yeah, so what is square root of 4? Uh, we know the square root of 4 it is 2. So, meaning root 8 is just the same as writing 2 root 2. Yeah, that's how we simplify sads. You just think of two numbers which you can use to multiply. Uh, let us simplify root 19. Or let's say root 18. The square root of 18 here it is just what two numbers can you get to multiply 18 it is 9 and 2 so we're going to say root 9 times root 2 it is 18 yeah so this is 
9 times 2 and the square root of 9 we know it is 3 so I have our 3 root 2 so uh, to get that document again we have more practice question on simplifying sides yeah I've gotten my phone number okay so you can just uh, uh, drop me a text on whatsapp so take note that the document is only for people doing tuitions or you can buy the document so now um, what else yeah we now go to the main deal of sads this is rationalizing sads yeah so to rationalize how i simply explain this is uh, when they say rational rationalize they just mean like get rid of the denominator yeah uh, speaking in just simple terms so let's say if you have 2 over square root of 2 if you want to rationalize the denominator it means we get rid of the denominator so in this case we multiply throughout by root 2 also here by root 2 what you do on top you also do down meaning you haven't changed the the expression so what is 2 times root 2 it is 2 root 2 yeah so the 2 has just multiplied with an invisible one here and then over uh, what is root 2 times root 2 so here always know that when you multiply the same side by itself you just get rid of the side meaning here we, we just remain with 2 yeah so but let me explain much on that one so let's say we have root 5 times uh, root 5 always know that the answer is 5 now root 6 times root 6 always know that the answer is root 6 so how is this the case this is the case simply because we have uh, root 5 times root 5 we can explain it in two ways so uh, starting with root 5 so root 5 times root 5 what it means it means 5 squared you are, you are multiplying 5 2 times yeah so it means this the root cancels with that no wonder we, we just get 5 the same with root 6 times root 6 it means we square meaning this will cancel with that we remain with 6 that is one reason why we do this the other reason is uh, you can just follow the normal procedure okay root 5 times root 5 we write it like this root 5 times root 5 so what is 5 times 5 it's 25 and then what is the square root of 25 it is 5 the same with 6 so it means 6 times 6 square root of or 6 times 6 is 36 and square root of 36 is 6 yeah so that it is the same here root 2 times root 2 it simply means you do 2 times 2 it is 4 square root of 4 it is 2 no wonder when you multiply anything by itself it is just the number under the side or the other method is when we say root 2 times root 2 it means we square so square square and the root cancels oh i'm sure you've understood it very well so remember to rationalize simply means to get rid you can even see we've gotten rid of the fraction in the denominator so this is our final answer but we can divide one one meaning the final answer is uh, two so that's how you rationalize ladies and gentlemen so uh, let's have oh and then now that uh, this is a very big kind of rationalizing so the more common kind of rationalizing is where we're given a fraction let's say we have three three x over uh, two minus root two or let me say root five so for now let's not 
put x so here let's rationalize how do you rationalize when you have a fraction like this and we have two terms here we just have to multiply by the conjugate so the conjugate so like let's say for example this is a plus b then the conjugate it is a minus b if we have 2 minus 3 the conjugate it is 2 plus 3 you get the pattern we just change the middle term here minus becomes plus yeah okay. so now uh, we can we can go ahead so let's multiply by the conjugate it will be 2 root 5 over 2 root 5 remember since here we have a minus we are going to have plus plus yeah and then uh, from here now we are going to say we multiply what is 3 times 2 and then when we do that we are also going to say what is 3 times 5 uh, we are good to go so 3 times 2 6 plus uh, 3 times root 5 it is 3 root 5 so the 3 has just multiplied the invisible 5 here or the, inv the invisible 1 mm -hmm. and then uh, what else what else what else and then or oh, the denominator <laughs> uh, let's let's deal with the denominator 2 times oh ok so here uh, this is the difference of 2 squares so please watch out the video for mega tips on SADS so I've also put th that link on the description and also in the comment section of this video so I explained how to simplify this yeah so please check out that video and then you should come back here so you can see here we have 2 root 5 2 root 5 the only difference is the square oh it is the sign so uh, this simply means uh, on our fraction we are going to say here we have a 2 it will be raised to the power 2 minus the other thing it is root 5 uh, raised to the power 2 yeah so meaning we are going to have 6 plus root 5 over 2 squared is 4 minus root 5 squared meaning this will cancel we just remain with 5 so this will be 6 plus root 5 over 1 over negative 1 yeah so I've rationalized like this so this can be written also like this a negative 6 plus root 5 yeah, so but uh, we can just end here. We're going to talk about this later. Yeah, so this is how you simplify. So, uh, please from here go and check out the video, which is mega tips on uh, math mega tips. Yeah, at least uh, you are going to appreciate something there. How to simplify this. Mm -hmm. So, when you are done with that, you should now check out the video now, which is practice questions under SADS. Yeah, we now deal with real questions, uh, not these baby questions. <laughs> yeah, so uh, check out the next video, which is um, practice questions under SADS, where we'll look at something like this. So this was just like an introductory lesson. We're going to deal with such questions in the next video. So from now, Check out the mega tips and then check out the practice questions.